What up boys and welcome back to yet another season of Discovery Gold Guide. In today's video we're looking at a super simple farm that pretty much every single class can do relatively efficiently. So before we dive into the details, big thank you for all the support on the complete gold guide for Season of Discovery, a book that I made that features all the best ways and methods to make gold in Season of Discovery. The best part is, it's a digital guide, so every time there's a new phase or a new update done to the book, I simply just update the book and I send it directly to your email completely for free. So that's going to be linked down below in the description, together with the VIP Discord, which I also have to say major thank you to everyone that has joined in. It's pretty much like a Patreon, but everything happens on the Discord, where you get to watch all my videos that go uh, live on YouTube before they do so. So you get that edge. Also comes with a bunch of other exclusive stuff, so... If that sounds interesting, you can check it with the link down below. Now, the farm that we're checking out in uh, today's video is uh, a very old... I mean, everything in Classic is old, but this farm right here was has been done by people for ages. It's extremely decent due to the frequent spawn rate of the mobs. Like, these guys are connected to a quest, so they spawn insanely fast. Now, by all means, when I recorded this video, Phase 3 had only been out for a couple of days... However, there was like, there was people at every single graveyard about, people just roaming around trying to get these kills, questing, farming, etc. So I did have a lot of competition, a lot of people, like other people killing the mobs. And that's actually a decent thing on this farm, because the more people killing mobs, the faster the mobs will spawn. So I could just stand by this tree right here in between two graveyards, just pull everything easily, handle a couple of mobs, even with my badly geared Shadow Priest. And then just loot, rinse and repeat. So what are the numbers and what are you after in this farm? First of all, when it comes to location, it takes place uh, right here in uh, Western Plaguelands at the Chillwind Camp. Now this entire area is just filled with different graveyards that has these mobs hyper spawning. So in terms of loot, there is one item that is specific to... Uh, to the dungeon itself, and that would be the recipe, not the dungeon, but the mob itself, the recipe Gift of Arctis. Now, this one, as I'm recording this video, is 15 gold each, so not too bad, but you're getting, like, the consumables, the healing pots, the mana pots, the scrolls, the mage scrolls as well. A decent amount of rune cloth. I got myself 86 rune cloth in an hour. Uh, only managed to get one green item, though, so that was relatively bad. But you also get Icar of Undeath, which right now is selling for, like, about 55 silver each. So I also got this uh, level 49 necklace, which is not too bad uh, right here. So uh, on top of that, the, and the reason why a lot of people are doing this is because there's not that much to do in Phase 3. Like, once you got your tunes up, you've made your gold, you got your mounts, your dual spec, etc., uh, so people, if you go to the Chilwin camp and you pick up the quest to uh, to get this trinket right here, the Argent on Commission, you can already now start to grind these mobs. Simply killing them will give you a reputation, but also if you have this Argent on Commission on, you will get these uh, minion scourge stones that you can hand in repeatedly to gain reputation with the Argent Dawn. So... Due to the limited things to do uh, at max level content, people are already doing this now simply so that they can gain the reputation and access these uh, these patterns and these plants. And there's stuff like uh, Bracer Enchant, for instance, with 4 MP5 that is really handy right now, where most of these other items, like you cannot wield the actual crafts. But once you start getting up to Revert, you get Enchant uh, Bracers with healing, more items that you cannot craft. However, you are getting shoulder enchants though, and something like nature resistance on shoulder is going to be uh, um, it's going to be uh, decent for sunken temple. Once you reach exalted, you also get the enchant on shoulders to uh, add five plus resist to every single uh, magic school. So, like these guys can also drop uh, epic items, blue items, and also the good the green BOE items. So. I highly suggest you guys to go out and do this farm, as the mobs are only level 50 to 51, so doable on every single class by ease. With that being said, though, that's pretty much it for today's video, so thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. So don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, that way you'll be notified whenever the next video drops. And with that being said, 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.